Hi guys, I am Natalie A. Ramos and I'm here to share with you the various or some of the arts that the province of Aklan is quite proud of. So Aklan is well known for its piña cloth. Aklan is the heart of the piña fiber and textile business. So in the Philippines, Aklan is the largest and oldest manufacturer weaver of piña cloth. So however, in the latest years, Negros Oriental and Palawan have begun their own production of the red Spanish type of pineapple plant from Aklan in addition to implementing skill training programs on fiber extraction and weaving. So weavers used to choose their own designs back in the day, such as flowers, fruits, coconut palms, nipa houses, and other motives created by the weaver's creativity were common. The designs might have been recreated from previously created textiles or inlaid into the fabric using graphing paper. So in the latter scenario, the pattern is created into the warp or on the warp. So the Aklan Piña fabric is made from the best mature leaves of indigenous pineapples. So pineapple silk is the queen of Philippine textiles and the cloth of choice for the Philippine aristocracy. So piña fabric is now exported to different areas of the world, most notably in North America and in Europe. So let me present you to one of Aklan's greatest treasures, Leso, the pottery capital of Aklan. So Bangayan village is in Leso, Aklan. The Bangayan is a native dialect that refers to a potter's wheel. The town Leso has mountains of soils suitable for pottery and clay products. It is used to shape clay into various ceramic items which are the pride of the town of Leso. So a huge area directly in the sun's heat and plenty of air assist potters to dry their clay-made items. So the sun drying area is located near the riverbank close to Besanes residence all the way up to Sagasa, a purok of Barangay Poblacion. The drying process might take days or even weeks before the dried clay-made products are ready to be placed in a large furnace for pagba or utilizing firewood to harden and make it sturdy. The potter's wheel represents the molder of real Lezo values, traditions, and cultural heritage, not only the, mo the molding of the famous industrial craft. So lastly is the greatest, most exciting, and most extravagant festival in Aklan. The Atiatian Festival is a Philippine celebration conducted yearly in January in various municipalities in the province of Aklan. This is in honor of the Santo Nino, or the Holy Child. So, the greatest event takes place on the third week of January in Kalibo, the province's capital. So, Ati Atian means to mimic Ati, or the Ita people's native name. So, the event includes church processions and public parades with theme floats, dance groups dressed in colorful costumes, marching bands, and citizens with face and body paints. The street procession is known as Sad Sad, which is also what the locals name their style of street dance in which the foot is briefly dragged over the ground in time with the marching band's beat. Despite the fact that the event was given a Christian interpretation, the practice of individuals painting their faces and bodies in honor of the Eta has arrived. Christians and non-Christians alike participate in the event, which draws tourists from all, all over the country and as well as the foreigners. So it has influenced other Philippine festivals such as Iloilo City's Dinagyang and Cebu's Sinudo Festival. And as a result, this is quite well known. And that is all for today and I do hope that you have learned something about Aklan's culture and I hope you enjoyed watching. Bye!